Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and in this episode, we're going to talk about the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. I got a lot of comments of people asking me to take a look at it and help you guys understand what it is, what it means, and why it was so important. We saw a $40 spike in, during the European markets being open because of this announcement. At least that's what triggered it. So, what does it all mean? Why is it important? We'll get right to that. Uh, we're going to have a lot more fun than my last video on basic attention token. That one was very intense. I just, I just got to be honest with you guys about how I feel. And um, I hope you don't hold it against me at all that, I, that I'm honest. I want to have a conversation, though. If you don't ever agree with something I say or you have a different viewpoint and opinion, I am always open to changing my opinion. So feel free to chime in, guys. That's what this channel is about. It's about all of us uh, talking together, learning more together, and getting better at this stuff. Because um, there's a lot of opportunity for, uh, for many years to come. So, the EEA. So this was uh, basically uh, something that had been planned for a while, uh, that they were going to announce it, and people are just waiting. Who's going to join this association? And, um, you know, and to many people, they didn't even understand why it was important when it was announced. But essentially, the Enterprise Ethereum Association was formed earlier this year seeking to evolve Ethereum so that it can serve as an enterprise-grade technology. That's very important. The internet is about as enterprise-grade as you can get today. EEA's research and development is focused on privacy, confidentiality, scalability, which I like, and security. So, I think that's really interesting, guys, those four critical elements. Um, I think that those four critical elements, this is kind of like almost their mission statement. Um, when you guys are considering investments of any kind, whether it's an ICO or a brand new blockchain, um, and it's enterprise related, you got to consider these things. Privacy, confidentiality, scalability, and security. Those are things that are important to this community, enough that that's stated in the alliance. So, um, EEA is also investigating hybrid architectures that span both permissioned and public Ethereum networks as well as industry-specific application layer working groups. Okay, so that's what they do. What I wanted to do is go over some of the key brands that kind of stuck out to me. Um, the ones that kind of popped off the screen for me. And uh, I'll just go through those. Now, this is definitely uh, the viewpoint from the United States as far as brand recognition goes. So I'm only going to state the ones that I'm familiar with. I don't know all of these, but I know many of them. Some of them I will skip because I'm pretty confident you've never heard of them either. Um, so here we go, even though I may know them. Uh, BBVA is a pretty large bank. Uh, that one stood out to me. That's a significant bank, very well known in America. Um, Credit Suisse, they're known around the world. Uh, so that's one you're probably familiar with. Uh, other ones, uh, ING. ING is a very big investment financial firm. Um, they're getting into the space. They're looking at it for, uh, you know, trying to secure transactions, things like that which is kind of cool. JP Morgan, it's a big one. There's some big banks in here, guys. This isn't a joke anymore. Of course, we have Microsoft. We also have Samsung. That one was surprising to me. I think that's a smart move. I think it's uh, a, a, a sign of innovation as Samsung continues to be a leader in digital content and marketing. Um, they take future technologies and innovations very seriously. Whereas Apple is running out of innovation life cycles right now. Uh, they continue to charge more for memory than they did in the last phone over and over and over again, essentially being the only company in the history of mankind to actually increase the price of their technology over time. Whereas Samsung is consistently putting out best-in-class 
products across multiple categories, continuing to be innovative. And whether you love Apple or you and and you hate Samsung, for example, if you're one of those people, um, you're choosing to ignore the raw technology underlying it. I am a huge fan of Apple because of the way that they're able to take advanced technology and make it super user friendly. I totally respect that. I am personally a power user, and so I lean more towards uh, things like Samsung and PCs because it sets me free. Because I don't, I don't, I'm very savvy, and I need all of the settings and all of the resources available available to me to customize my experience. And I don't need it kind of dumbed down for me or simplified. Um, I also enjoy best in class speed and I get those things. So that's just something about me. But um, definitely have a ton of respect as a marketer for Apple and everything that Steve Jobs has done um, in creating essentially the luxury brand of our generation. So um, I give kudos to him and to Apple. Um, but their time is coming to an end. The sun is setting. Um, Samsung is currently leading on the digital front. They are considered by L2 Inc. to be the most digitally savvy uh, company in that space, if not the most in the world. And as a professional marketer in e-commerce, I look to them for inspiration because my peers all agree that they do the best when it comes to consistent high quality content across so many channels. That all being said, <laughs> I'm really, really excited because I would love to see Samsung integrate blockchain technology into cell phones um, and then begin partnering with the cell phone companies to help decentralize our phones. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, there, That would be pretty neat. There's a lot of concerns in our country. I don't know about where you're at, but there's tons of concerns about people getting into our phones and listening to our conversations and you know if we could decentralize then they wouldn't really know who's talking um, if we could figure out how to do that so I think that that is a, a really big dream I'm not going to be uh, ignorant about where we're at today I know that this is a 20-30 year vision I have of, of that kind of world where we can decentralize cell phones there's enough Wi-Fi everywhere that you can pick it up and you can probably just lease out your Wi-Fi actually get a currency back for it then you reuse it yourself right so you essentially can lease out your Wi-Fi collect tokens and then when you want to make a call you use those tokens on someone else's and the cycle continues I believe that that's actually possible um, Will it happen soon? I don't know. There's people out there already trying to make it happen, and uh, I don't want to discourage them because they're way ahead of their time. And I think that's amazing. So, a little tangent there on Samsung. But I think that they're critical in this as uh, one of the better-known brands. So Microsoft, Samsung, uh, definitely the two big boys here that uh, I think that we need to pay attention to. Now, British Petroleum, if you're not aware, is one of the largest oil companies in the world. One of the biggest countries, uh, not countries, companies, one of the biggest companies in the world um, in, as far as revenue goes. So they're definitely in the top 100, um, and it's something to really be excited about, that a company that big um, isn't, isn't so big that they're slow to recognize uh, what Ethereum really is and the opportunity it holds. Okay, so there's a lot of little guys in here. Um, of course, there's Intel. That's a really big one. I'm a huge fan of Intel. They are a leader in digital governance, and um, they really have turned that ship around in the last few years because of a critical decision to uh, put a digital governance strategy in place and really turn that company around um, so the branding is getting a lot better. The marketing is getting a lot better. So I like them a lot just because of what they're doing. Um, it, you know, For a company that size, I can't even wrap my brain around how difficult it would be to, to be successful um, at marketing consistently. Um, so kudos to those guys. 
I have a lot of respect for everyone over at Intel. But obviously Intel is a huge, huge important piece to this alliance. You know, uh, the blockchain is um, essentially going to allow us someday to, you know, access supercomputers in the cloud. And um, Intel will still be the ones making the chips. So they definitely have a vested interest. So even though I'll be leasing out um, a whole lot of processing power, chances are it'll be Intel in the future and uh, not my AMD cards that I have now. So we'll have to wait and see, but I think it's promising. Hopefully this is a recognition from Intel that they recognize this technology. Who knows, maybe we'll have Intel miners soon. Um, you know, have ASIC miners made by Intel uh, to help secure the blockchain. But probably not, now that I think about it, because they're probably, again, we're going to proof of stake. Um, so maybe that's not the case. But they could design a chip to maximize the power um, for Golem. And as you guys know, Golem is going to be the supercomputer uh, based on the Ethereum blockchain. And essentially, you can lease out your processing power. So that's something to be looking for in the future. You know, that's that's one of the main reasons I'm I'm invested in Golem, and you should be too. It's because it's got everything. It's got the dream. It's got um, a, a world-changing solution, and it's one little news article away with a partnership with Intel from being a lot of money. So. Uh, definitely one I have in my portfolio you should do your homework I'm not a financial advisor but if you are passionate about Ethereum maybe you're new to Ethereum and you haven't really made it tangible for yourself yet you haven't really understood it yet um, and put it into the real world for yourself yet go check out Golem it is one of the most exciting product uh, projects and uh, the team working on it I haven't heard one person say that they don't believe in the team over and over again it doesn't matter who uh, in the community um, that's talking about Golem doesn't matter who they all say the same thing they all say that the team is amazing so just want to put that out there for you guys do your own homework but I'm a huge fan of it um, I'll go to the grave with with Golem for sure just because I, I that's that's one of the few that I, I, I want to believe in that future. You know what I mean? I, uh, there's a lot of cool technologies in this space, but having a world decentralized supercomputer, um, that for me is the dream. Uh, I think that that is what's gonna change the world. And that is what's gonna give opportunity to people in third world countries who um, don't have access to processing power and all of a sudden they do which means now that they have internet and processing power they can actually develop skills and take advantage of that processing power and essentially create opportunities for themselves it could set people free and that that for me is something I'm passionate about and I think that's really cool okay so if I wanted to read a couple quotes before we go um, off of the announcement paper from specific key members that I have mentioned already. Not everyone left one, um, but there are a lot of quotes. There were pages and pages of them. I went through and read them all, um, but I felt like the ones that make sense to you guys are going to be the ones you've probably heard of before, so that's the ones that I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at. And there aren't that many, so just bear with me. I'm going to bring them up here. The first one is ING. Again, a large uh, financial company with the lion if you've ever seen that before pretty well known here in the states so here we go for ing leading edge technology is the key to developing innovative solutions for our customers and enterprise ethereum alliance is a perfect example of how we play at that forefront of these developments Whew, there was no comma just saying guys ethereum is a extremely powerful multi-purpose blockchain and we are a proud partner with the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance to leverage this computing platform to seek efficient and secure propositions for our clients. Pretty cool, right? So I don't know what they're going to be using the platform for, 
Um, I'm sure they're going to try to use it for uh, similar reasons that most banks use it for, but um, pretty exciting. So that one was a good one. The next one, bear with me, Samsung. As a company whose key focus and experience is in delivering solutions for enterprise business, joining the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance was a clear decision for us. Ethereum is one of the fastest growing blockchain technologies with potential to provide exceptional benefit to enterprises. We look forward to active collaborations with the members of the Alliance and believe that there will be significant synergy opportunity to drive the adoption of blockchain enterprise in the space. Now what's exciting is this is from the Vice President of, I kid you not, Distributed Ledger Technology Business Group. They literally at Samsung have a Distributed Ledger Technology Business Group. You might as well just call it the Blockchain Group. Um, that's really exciting. <laughs> uh, Microsoft also has um, someone that literally has the title Blockchain. They have multiple people, uh, multiple leaders that have blockchain in their title. A, uh, essentially, we're going to begin seeing chief uh, blockchain officers. CBOs will start popping up before you know it, guys. And that's exciting. That means the, we ha there's, those companies are taking it very seriously, spending uh, a whole lot of money making massive investments. Um, and that's what we're seeing here with the Alliance. I think the Alliance is really just kind of the um, acknowledgement and the coming together of uh, companies uh, that believe in Ethereum. So they're coming together. They're saying, hey, all of us together, we believe in it. We want to create uh, industry best practices and standards. We want to collaborate. We want to work together. But what they're really saying is we're about to pour a ton of money and research into using this. We are ready to develop on Ethereum. A year ago we were dealing with the DAO problem. Today we have Microsoft and Samsung and Intel all lined up ready to work on the platform and create a better world. That's pretty cool. Toyota Research Institute. This one's exciting if you guys haven't heard there's gonna be an announcement um, about Toyota and uh, blockchain technology. Essentially, they've been working um, with a team on creating um, anonymous cars. And you guys, anyone that's familiar with Tesla, you may have heard this before, but a lot of people don't know what that is. Essentially, the idea is that you never need to buy a car again. You don't need to use Uber again. Instead, you just walk up to the car you want to drive and you basically log in. And you only pay for what you drive and you only pay insurance for the time that you drive it. That's pretty cool, right? In five years, will we ever need to buy a car again? I don't know. I guess it depends on where you live, of course. But I'm excited. I'm excited that in a few years, we're going to see announcements about the first cities being chosen for anonymous cars to be uh, unleashed upon the city. So... I don't know what that looks like. Is it a thousand? Is it two thousand cars? And they're just, I don't know where they park them. They're going to have to make a deal with the city, right? Um, you know, cars are just going to be sitting everywhere. It's pretty cool. The technology exists already to make it happen. And blockchain technology makes it secure and safe. And uh, that's exciting. Here's what they have to say. Blockchains and distributed ledgers are disruptive technologies with the potential to positively impact the future mobility of accelerating the development of anonymous driving, lowering costs to consumers, and making more efficient use of the existing mobility infrastructure. Toyota Research Institute supports the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and its members in promoting common standards and tools to accelerate the adoption of this technology and potential benefits for Toyota's customers. So essentially, Toyota's like, hey guys, can we get this going? We're ready. That's kind of what that looks like to me. That's my interpretation. Um, all the car companies are trying to figure out how to battle Tesla. 
Tesla's market cap now is like bigger than Ford's. They don't even sell nearly as many cars. But that's just that's the world we live in, guys. That's where we're at. That's reality. That's factual. Um, that's tangible. Go look it up. All right. So I'll end with that. And I appreciate you guys checking in on the Ethereum Alliance here. I enjoyed bringing you this, and I enjoyed reading through it. Um, I hope you learned something. As always, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I want to have a conversation about this. And also, um, subscribe. If you like this kind of news, uh, maybe it's easy for you to just listen on the, on the go or while you're driving. I love bringing you guys what's new. Um, I try to bring you as much as I can, but as you guys know, this space is incredible. I will never be able to get to all of it, no matter how hard I try, unless I was doing it full time. And right now, that's not a reality, but that's a dream, maybe. But right now, um, I'm just doing it out of passion, and I'm doing it because I really enjoy getting to know you guys. I'm having a blast getting to know you, and you guys are so kind with your words. You guys are so kind with your donations. And you guys are kind enough to use the links, my affiliate links and things like that to help me out. And uh, all it does is inspire me to try harder. And I'm trying harder. And I appreciate your guys' feedback on what you like, what you don't like. It helps me shape this channel for you. This is for you. Um, and because uh, I want to do, I, wa I just want to do what's right and do what's good for you guys. Because I know you'll, you'll do what's right and do the right things back for me. So that's what I'm about. And that's who I am. I'm the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. Have a good night, guys.